Hey, welcome to this quick video showing you the Samsung S20 in action with the 3D scanning capabilities. All right, so meet Bruno. <laughs> this is one of the favorite plush toys of my seven-year-old daughter. And I 3D scanned that with the Samsung S20 and here it is. Here is Bruno as an augmented reality version uh, 3D scanned with the Samsung S20 Plus I have here, which also features a time of flight depth camera so you can actually get pretty decent um, 3d scans of these kind of objects and so i'm using our azure spatial anchors app that we built so what i can do now i can actually save a session so i can basically store that azure spatial anchor need to give it a name bruno that's the name of the plush toy right all right let's save the session now we save the session and now I can actually load that session I just saved. I could, oh, let me actually um, exit the app so that you know that this is real deal. I'm not just faking it. So I close the app. I reopened the application just now. Now it's loading all this previous saved session, selecting this one. Now I need to scan around a little bit so it actually finds the, the anchor data. Like when I created it, now I found the anchor and relocalized it. Now it's loading that 3D model in the background. All right, now it loaded the model. Um, again, like I mentioned, I saved that session. So we placed an Azure Spatial Anchor here, assigned that 3D model, and then we can load it. Yeah, I think that's a pretty powerful workflow with all these modern devices we have these days where we can bring in 3D models or create 3D models easily since these devices have a dedicated depth camera, so-called time of flight cameras, and then we can you know, use technologies like the AR Cloud with Azure Spatial Anchors to actually place these 3D models, save sessions, share them, have multiple of those. Alrighty, that's it. Take care, my friends, and have a wonderful day.